Today, we're gonna to be unenveloping the Chase World of Hyatt credit card. I'm also gonna be going over my initial first impressions with the card since I've had it for about a few weeks now. Now, the first thing I wanna mention is exactly how long it took me to get this card in hand. And boy, did it feel like an eternity. So as you may know, Jessica and I applied for and got approved for this card on Tuesday, July 18th. We finally got the card in hand Monday, July 31st, which was about nine business days or 13 calendar days from the date we were approved. And this could potentially be important to you in in case you're planning to snag this card before a Hyatt stay, which was the case for us. Now, when we were going through the application process, we actually made a couple mistakes. First, my wife had completely forgotten that she already had a Hyatt account, so we left that field blank in the application so an account could be created for her. Now, I believe this may have caused the card to take longer to arrive since World of Hyatt had to create a new account for her on their end before they could actually send out the card. And we even called Chase the day after we were approved to see if they could maybe expedite the card, but unfortunately they could not as World of Hyatt still needed to create the account. But that's not where the real annoying part came into play. The thing is, my wife's Hyatt account that she forgot she had was under her married name, whereas her Chase account was under her maiden name. So then Hyatt went out and created a new Hyatt account under her maiden name, and oh my gosh, was it a pain in the butt to get those two accounts merged. Several phone calls, several live chats, and finally we were able to get someone to help us merge the two accounts after we provided them with a copy of her current ID along with our marriage certificate. So a word to the wise, make sure to have your Hyatt account sorted out and make sure it's the same name that's on your Chase account. Once we got all that figured out, it was smooth sailing. Her account pretty much immediately reflected Discover status along with the five qualifying night credits that this card comes with. Now, the thing you wanna be mindful of with this card is the five qualifying night credits start at zero, even though this card gives you Discover status right off the bat. It's not like you're building on top of Discover status, which is what I had initially thought when researching this card. Oh, and in case you were we're wondering, we live in New Jersey and Chase pulled our credit history from Experian. Now as a quick rundown, we're planning to use this card to not only hit the $3,000 minimum spend requirement for the 30,000 point welcome offer, but also for the first $15,000 in spend since the welcome offer essentially gives this card a floor of 2x points per dollar spent. We're going to be using this card in place of our Venture X, which we were using as our catch-all card for things that don't earn more than 2x. And we're doing this for a couple reasons. The first reason is that we value these Hyatt points more than we value the Capital One miles. And two, when you spend $15,000 in a calendar year on the World of Hyatt card, you get an additional free night at a Category 1 to 4 Hyatt property. Now, the lowest point value you'll get a Category 1 property for is 3,500 points per night, while the highest point value a Category 4 property can go for is 18,000 points per night during peak pricing. What this means is that you'll want to try to use these free nights for Category 3 to 4 properties in order to squeeze the most value out of them. If we are able to use the free night for a category four property during a normal night, that would be a 15,000 point per night room. And if we get around two cents per point in value from that redemption, that can be $300 in value. And what this means is that additional free night you get from $15,000 in spend would get us another 2% back in effective value. Overall, not too shabby. So essentially with this whole welcome offer, we're gonna put $15,000 in spend through the card and we'll walk away with the free night and 60,000 thousand high points. Now, in addition to that, we'll also be receiving the five qualifying night credits this card comes with, plus six additional qualifying night credits since we'll get two qualifying night credits per $5,000 spent. Now, yes, this card comes with a $95 annual fee, but you get a free night at a category one to four Hyatt property on your account anniversary each and every year, easily offsetting that fee. In my eyes, it's simply a no-brainer keeper card under one condition. You must be able to get use out of that free night every year. Now, I know Hyatt doesn't have the most extensive footprint compared to the competition. For example, there's about 1,350 Hyatt properties worldwide, whereas there's over 8,500 Marriott properties. So outside of the first $15,000 in spend, this card's going to be our go-to card to use while physically at Hyatt properties. Since it gets 4x points on Hyatt stays and participating restaurants and spas within those properties, this card is an easy choice for that spend. Now, if you want to learn a bit more about the card, I do go a bit more in depth in my Watch Me Apply video, which you can find right up here. But for now, let's hop into the unenveloping so you can see exactly what you get with this card. First of all, Chase is coming in hot with the nondescript white envelope. They wanna try and just sneak this puppy into your mailbox under the radar. But if you're in the credit card game, you know exactly what a blank white envelope means. It means today's the day, baby. So let's crack this puppy open and see what we're working with. 
Front and center, we're welcomed with the number of cards within the packet, the last digits of the account number, the credit limit, and the cash access line. Now, they gave us an $18,700 limit with this card, which is certainly an odd number, but I like it. And drum roll, please. Boom. Two World of Hyatt cards side by side. By the way, if you haven't caught the Watch Me Apply video, I'm actually the authorized user on this card since my application got denied. But let's not talk about that. So it's a nice, minimalistic, sophisticated design. We have kind of like a brushed silver card design with the blue and white World of Hyatt logo on the top right of the card. And if we take a look at the outside edge of this card, if you can see it, it's the same blue color as the World of Hyatt logo, which is a nice touch. Now, this card is a Visa signature, which is indicated on the bottom right of the card. And then we have the EMV chip and contactless payment indicator on the left-hand side. And finally, our name. Now on the back side, you've got the same silvery colored card. You've got your magnetic strip, signature pad, and then your name and card numbers, which are all slightly embossed. Now the card also shows your member ID number on the very bottom. And you'll notice that my member ID number is not present. And that's because I'm an authorized user. On my wife's card, the member ID number is indeed present. And you'll see the card lists a few different phone numbers, the domestic and international Chase phone number, and the number for Hyatt reservations in US. US and Canada. So it's always nice to have those numbers on hand if needed. And the rest of the page the cards are on gives you a rundown on how to earn bonus points with this card. Now the next page goes over your card member agreement which contains your interest rate, your $95 annual fee, and other fees which shows us that this card has no foreign transaction fees but does have late fees of up to $40. And then there's the privacy notice. Boring. Now this next pamphlet is relatively important and you may consider actually hanging on to it in case you need to take advantage of some of the benefits this card comes with. And that's your guide to benefits. Now some of these benefits include baggage delay insurance of up to $100 per day, up to five days, and lost luggage reimbursement of up to $3,000 per person per trip. Now another nice benefit is extended warranty protection of up to $10,000 per claim and $50,000 per account for items that come with a US manufacturer's warranty of three years or less. This card also has a pretty generous purchase protection benefit of 120 days and covers up to $500 per claim and $50,000 per account. These certainly aren't all the benefits this card comes with, but they're the ones that are more likely to actually be used, so make sure to skim through this document to familiarize yourself with it. Now this Welcome to Chase pamphlet goes over all the terms and legalese that come with this credit card. So if there's something you're maybe not familiar with, this pamphlet may have the answer for you. Then we have the World of Hyatt pamphlet, which covers the ins and outs of what this card can do for you, what features it has, and how the Hyatt point system works. But how does it slapping? I mean, I gotta be honest with you guys. The last thing I wanna do is blow smoke up your bums. This card, it just ain't slapping anywhere. It's getting an underwhelming 4.8 out of 10 slappers. I think the promise here was never to quite be that card that you take out on a date and slap all over the place. It's really one of those cards that sits in the shadows and puts in some work behind the scenes. And it's your basic plastic card. I'm guessing this thing is gonna come in at right about five grams. So let's take a look. And yeah, right on the money, five grams. I mean, at least it's not gonna weigh you down. Now, if you're curious about what I'm stowing inside this here wallet, you're gonna wanna check out this video. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.